Hi Taurus and welcome to your My Twin Flame Love Love Story Tarot Reading. This tarot reading is timeless. No, even if you're listening in December of 2017 or sometime in 2018 or beyond, the messages of this reading is as timeless as the love between you and your twin flame, okay? So this may or may not resonate with you as this is a general reading. It's not looking at any one particular situation. It's whatever comes through in the cards, okay? Also, I have listed all the tarot decks I'm using and the meaning of the placement of each card in this reading as well. If you are interested in that information, it's listed in the top comment below this video. So Taurus, let's get right into your love story and let's pull some cards to get your energy and the energy of your twin flame. I'm not surprised to see this for you guys coming out as your energy, the Eagle King, the big picture, angelic help. <clears throat> so Taurus, your energy is coming through as very powerful, very strong, the big picture and angelic help. This is saying that you, Taurus, you operate from a very spiritual place within your soul. And you have the ability to pull back and be quite objective in any situation, including your own personal situations, to see how all the pieces fit together and what's really going on. Also, with angelic help here, your prayers are easily answered and manifested, okay? And anything that you ask for or pray for that doesn't come about, it doesn't mean it's not going to. It may take some time because it's all about divine timing or perhaps what you're asking for isn't in your best interest, okay? Because with angelic help, it's like whatever is meant for you, whatever is on your path, you ask for it, there it is. The only thing that holds it back is divine timing. So in the partnership between you and your twin flame, you definitely are probably the more logical one. And you have just this ability to see things in a way that your twin flame maybe does not. And with the angelic help, you could even have some psychic ability or very intuitive, empathic even. And you're just given messages from the non-physical realm quite a bit, okay, about a lot of different things. But this coming out as your energy connected to your twin flame, you definitely get messages from the angelic realm about your twin flame. <clears throat> Okay, and they are coming through as the sisters of the season. Interesting about this card is Aries actually came out um, showing as this energy. However, the twin flame energy that was associated for Aries was quite a bit different than the Eagle King. Um, but, you know, these are general readings. I just want to point that out that this is what Aries has. And... What this is about is your twin flame, the way they move through life, what prompts their decisions, what motivates them, whether they are aware of it or not, is their soul, okay? This is an energy saying, I can't be forced, I can't be pushed, all things happen in divine time for me, and that's just how I am made, and it's not even a conscious um thinking or realization it's just the way that your twin flame is created and made they're very in tune with nature <clears throat> and I don't mean 
you know, some of them could like love the outdoors and all that. I'm not talking about that. It's like, you know, animals in the in the wild. They just have the natural sense of where they need to migrate for winter and things like that. That's this energy right here. That's your twin flame. It's everything that drives them comes from their soul, okay? And you coming through as this Eagle King energy, you have an ability to see them and understand them in a way nobody else can, okay? Because you can see the bigger picture, because you can pull back, you see the mechanisms of your twin flame and, you know, how they move through life and what motivates them, what prompts them, what triggers them, all of that. So this together, these two energies <clears throat> are very compatible, okay? Just because of the different aspects and elements of each one of you and where many people don't understand this energy you have the ability to do so <clears throat> so we're going to pull a flames card to get the energy of the soul connection that you and your twin flame share this lifetime look at that right here soul connection two of flames energy 100% across the board no ifs ands or buts about it there's just you know what it is okay there's no question you and your twin flame because this is talking about your soul connection there's ten different flames cards this is what came out for the two of you two of flames right here twin flames that is your energy you guys came to earth to experience each other as twin flame love as twin flame energy there's no I don't know how to get out what I'm trying to say here um, the twin flame energy is different for everybody okay there's agreements made, this is what we're working on this lifetime, this is what we want to accomplish. And there's a lot of, you know, challenge in, in that energy, but we, as the experiencer, perceive challenge as bad, you know, or negative a lot of the times when it's truly not. But for you guys, this is like, I understand you, you understand me, there's no question, there is so much purity in this soul connection, this energy. And like I said here, very compatible. I understand you. You understand me. Nice, Taurus. Nobody else has gotten the twin flames. Uh, I'm sorry, the two of flames for the soul connection yet. You guys are the first. And um, honestly, this is the card that inspired this entire reading for me. So you guys have that energy of twin flame love that inspired me to create these readings. That is so beautiful. I, There are no words to express to you um, the way I was inspired by that card and just to see it come out for you guys. I, I just know what you guys have with your twin flame. There's, It's like I'm stumbling. There is no words to express it. Just the depth. So now we're going to look at your physical foundation this lifetime with the crystal card. Okay. Nice. Oh my God. Aries got this too. So Taurus, I have to say many of you, it's, it is a Taurus. I'm, I'm sorry. It is an Aries. That is your twin flame. Like there's just with this card and this card um, and in Aries uh, reading the twin flame energy was coming through as the prison wave which is self-sabotage um, kind of insecure negative thinking and it's hard for me because you guys are coming out as this Eagle King energy but perhaps this is your energy paired up with when you unite with your twin flame and 
if it is an Aries, perhaps you were coming through as the prison wave because of, you know, maybe what you've been through prior to your relationship with your twin flame. Or maybe if it is an Aries, you and the Aries just, you know, you've gone through some stuff that puts you in a place of doubt and disbelief. But I don't know. There's just such a strong Aries connection here with this twin flame. So if if it's an Aries for you, I highly recommend watching that video. Um, the reading that's coming through in your twin flame love story is a bit more of a positive nature, and that might have everything to do with your energy and your perspective because this is your reading, Taurus. If you are, if you know that an Aries is your twin flame, so in saying that. This is your physical foundation. This is living a life of abundance, of luxury for some. Since this is general, the level of comfort and abundance in which you live can vary greatly. But this is having a physical foundation that, you know, is not one of lack. It's one of great abundance. Um, one of you can make quite a bit of money or maybe both of you make quite a bit of money. OK, but the energy for your guys's foundation for this lifetime is to have plenty, is to be in abundance. It's not um, your experience is not meant to be lack filled as far as the material realm goes. So let's pull a cups card here to see what your emotional connection is this lifetime. Oh my God, Taurus, I promise you, hand to God, I knew this was the card that was going to come out for you guys. Like, I just knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Um, oh, Taurus, look, we have two nines here. This is, you, when your physical foundation is at a nine, your emotional connection is at a nine. That's so strong. That's so powerful. That's so grown. This here being the energy that represents your emotional connection, this is ultimate happiness. This is you are my wish. You are my dream come true. You are everything I ever wanted, okay? And it's not just, you know, that there's, if you see this light and these rays coming down, it's like our love feels so blessed. We are so meant to be. And I'm not surprised to see this energy when your soul connection is coming through so strongly with that two of flames energy. I love your reading, Taurus. It's looking so good. Um, man, when you, you could be with your twin flame, maybe you've met your twin flame, you've broken up, you guys are apart at this time, or maybe you haven't met your twin flame. I, it's going to be different for all of you, but this energy, this love is so beautiful. Like I said, you guys have the card that inspired this entire um, series of readings that I'm doing for each sign. So now we're going to look at what your challenge is with your twin flame this lifetime through the orbs cards. Five of orbs. Okay, so this is your challenge energy. And um, honestly, it's the only negative card that came out because even though, you know, these are spiritual, um, um, physical, and emotional connection. We're talking about, you know, there's negative cards that can come out in these places, and you guys did not receive anything like that. The only negative card you have is the challenged position, which is where we expect to see the negative energy. And what this card is saying is you and your twin flame are really going to butt heads. Um, there's going to be times where it's like you guys are, are just battling it out and, you know, one person might feel like they are victorious, but nobody really wins, okay? It's an empty, hollow victory if anything's won. It's just this particular fight is won by me, but the war is nowhere near over. And it's just... It's not a, a happy energy, okay? It's not, but this is your challenge. So 
when you and your twin flame are having a disagreement or you guys fight, you both are going to be taking a very stubborn kind of stance like I'm right, you're wrong when you really believe in what you're saying and doing. And um, that really is the only challenge I see here is just there's going to be things you guys just do not see eye to eye on and you're both going to dig your heels in and want to stand your ground so strongly. So this energy, like I said, they cannot be forced on any level. Okay, they're going to pull back, they're going to freak out, they're going to run away if they're feeling caged up, forced into anything that is not clicking deep in their soul. That's just the way they're made. So your guys' challenge for this lifetime is to learn how to, you know, pick and choose your battles wisely with each other. What is truly worth the energy of disagreement, of standing your ground, of being, you know, stubborn, and what isn't? So this isn't the worst challenge to have. And based on all this other energy, this is something you guys can overcome. You truly, truly can. So um, now let's take a look at your um, physical intimacy, the connection you guys share on that level with each other. So this card was flipped. Some of the cards got flipped and I just, uh, I did not flip them back. Look at this. King of Wands. Oh, Aries, so strong in your reading. Um, if not Aries, definitely fire energy in uh, your twin flame Taurus. So this here is talking about um, hugging, embracing closely. So when you... Uh, how do I want to express this? Um, there's a lot of closeness and physical intimacy just in your touch and your embrace with each other, okay? There's safety and security found in that space. So that's a very nice um, energy right there. Wow, and then here we have the Knight of Wands again. Here's more fire energy and this is a lot of passion right here, a lot of like just lusty love, passion type of energy, um, spontaneous as well. So we have a really good connection here intimately, okay? And also the just the touch of each other is very healing, magical, and comforting. Wow, and then we have this card. Um, I'm surprised that this came out, but um, this might have a lot to do with this energy. So this here is the Three of Swords, and this is talking about how um, the relationship is feeling empty, which is very surprising to see with all of these other cards. So what I'm gonna going to say about this is whatever this challenge is that you guys face, in your relationship, it spills over into your um, sexual intimacy and it might be where you disconnect on that level if you're feeling really emotionally off or upset or hurt. Um, I don't want to say that this could indicate, you know, at some point maybe one or both of you, there's some cheating or some infidelity. I mean, there's definitely the element of that with this card, okay? But the energy of this reading is so positive that it just, that type of behavior seems so out of place here. But this is a general reading, so I suppose for some of you, you know, whatever this challenges that you face, it can cause it to spill over into your intimate life and affect you guys in that way. And only you will know what that means, Taurus. Um, 
also if you are involved with the fire sign if that is truly who your twin flame is um, you know fire signs are hard to pin down all of them Aries Leo Sagittarius okay they're really hard to pin down hard to get committed um, you know cheating flirting all of that whatever to varying degrees is not uncommon with the fire sign however when a fire sign is truly a hundred percent in love there that is all they see they are loyal they are true blue okay so it really depends on how deeply the fire sign feels the connection on how dedicated they're going to be to the relationship now this is general so there are some people out there that are just very honest people no matter what and that's just who they are but some people aren't that way so with this showing up in your intimate energy Taurus only you know what that means for you is it that you know because I don't feel like it's bad or that we don't have good relations going on here I just feel like you know we're very in love we're living a good life you know things are great but there's everything has its challenge and whatever this means for you guys there could be for some not all of you that it it affects that um intimacy that you guys have so i'm going to pull some more cards obviously so we can get some more information but Again, just based on the connection I see here, this is nothing that you guys cannot overcome, no matter what it is. And that's the thing about Twin Flame Love. It does not matter what happens. You guys, it is written in your souls that you will overcome it, okay? you Nothing happens that it, that isn't supposed to. You guys had a plan for this lifetime, the way you wanted to experience each other, the way you wanted to grow on a soul level oh actually I'm starting with the wrong deck sorry about that Taurus um, let's look at the non-physical map of your energy with your twin flame for this lifetime you know what what did you guys plan what is this about because you it's just like beautiful beautiful perfect energy and then but Everything has its challenge, and based on the rest of the cards, does not look like that. Something you cannot overcome. Very strong fire energy, especially Aries coming through for you guys as twin flame. Okay, these are your cards, Taurus. Oh. Did I say Aries got this card too? <laughs> wow. Okay, so right off the bat, Taurus, this is what I know about why this energy sits here. You and your twin flame are, in, are meant to, you planned on ascending to a higher level of consciousness um, this lifetime. And whatever this challenges you guys face, once you overcome it, that is like the ultimate thing that expands your consciousness and stretches you so far that you truly ascend to a higher version of yourself spiritually, mentally, emotionally. That is the only reason why the challenge has been placed in your path with your twin flame is because of this, the ascension process that you both have come here to experience this lifetime together so you know what it's all meant to be do not fear um, the challenge or the disconnection that you may experience at some point along the way with your twin flame that is all part of the plan because you guys are ascending to a higher level and this is about more than just your relationship this is your self overall okay alchemy wow and guidance oh nice Taurus oh my goodness gracious so <clears throat> it does not matter 
what challenge you guys face, you are going to transmute that energy, okay? And again, very spiritual connection with this guidance. Like I said, angelic help. You receive messages about your twin flame. You, uh, Taurus, may be psychic or just very spiritually gifted and you speak to the angelic realm whether you are consciously aware of it or not. And all of that information and energy that you are receiving from the higher realms comes down into the physical realm and really is the basis of how you choose to interact with your twin flame and what you tolerate and what you won't tolerate and like I said it's no matter what you guys face you can transmute that energy and if you've been through some really hard things in life or they've been through some really hard things in life when you guys come together and you're you're finally on that same level and you're both ready because the season has finally come all the negativity melts away and transmutes into something brand new because you are ascending to a higher level this lifetime. Very awesome, Taurus. Very awesome. So now let's take a look at how this energy comes through into the physical realm this lifetime. We're not going to go with those because I actually dropped those. Those did not just fly out. If it's a flyer or a jumper, I will take it. But not when it's my own clumsy shuffling. It's just hard to shuffle over the camera, but... Okay, so that one, that one is out. That one is a part of this. Okay, Taurus, let's see. All right, third chakra. So um, I believe Pisces actually got this here. This is ba saying that you and your twin flame are very connected at the third chakra. This is all about desire and personal power. So I believe that when you guys come together, you both are quite more empowered individuals together than you are separately, okay? And more than that, there is a great desire and passion for each other within, and the third chakra is where you really feel that connection with your twin flame. Wow, cornucopia, this goes so beautiful with that nine of crystals that talks about your physical foundation. This card here is the ultimate happiness on every level, Taurus. It's we're financially good, we're emotionally good, we're mentally good, we're so spiritually connected. And honestly, I feel like it has everything to do with this ascension energy. Like you guys are just, I don't care what you've been through in your life. When you guys come together to experience that true twin flame energy love that you have that exists between the two of you and it's time to transmute all the negative energy it's what you guys have is out of this world nothing compares to it this is just the ultimate energy on every level the cornucopia exactly what it says financial constraints very interesting that this card also shows up. So um, for some of you, perhaps this energy is uh, what I feel with this financial constraints is for some of you, like I said, either you make a lot of money and your twin flame does not or your twin flame makes a lot of money and you do not. And so when you guys come together, it's finally the end of this financial restriction. Okay. Now for others of you, it this might indicate that, you know, um, you are coming together and you both do have great abundance, but at some point along the journey, you are going to have a shift in that energy and experience some financial restriction and constraint. However, with alchemy here, that only happens it because there is something about you that needs to change and grow 
and this is only a temporary experience or state of being because the energy that surrounds you and your twin flame is so abundant okay it's not just on all levels materially emotionally we've you know gone over this so some of you though may experience some financial hardship through this journey but you will bounce back it will get better okay this is only to help you grow to help you move beyond this five of orbs energy that's really the only challenge that i see with you guys um <clears throat> mostly i feel like that is you struggle financially you or your twin flame struggle financially before you guys get together and then it's you guys coming together either one or both of you has money or you guys come up with some sort of creative idea or business idea to generate income okay so your your finances may fluctuate a little bit throughout the entire relationship but for the most part aries i feel like you aries Taurus, see, Aries is coming through so strong. Taurus, that you guys have financial comfort and stability. So let's take a look at your um, emotional experience, how you're going to experience all this energy um, emotionally this lifetime. Okay, that feels like that was it. Stay optimistic about your love life. Soulmate. Past life relationship. Oh my gosh. Taurus. So what this says here is, again, no matter what, you guys will get through any hardship um, financially or if it's you guys are just butting heads, whatever. Like, Always stay optimistic. This is your twin flame, and you guys have freaking amazing energy. I thought Pisces had a good uh, love story reading, but you guys, you beautiful Taurus, okay? Then we have soulmate and past life relationship. It's like you guys just gel. You just click. There is nobody else in this world, okay, that you fit better with or that they fit better with because we have soulmate and past life relationship. So, this to me is more of like a confirmation to you, Taurus, that yes, you and your twin flame are something special and you have experienced many lives together and you're coming into this life to experience twin flame love at its finest, okay, at its finest because you're ascending to a higher level this lifetime with your twin flame. So no matter what you've been through, Stay optimistic about your twin flame, about your relationship, and any challenge that you guys may face, okay? And more to the point, all things happen in divine timing, especially with this twin flame of yours. But you have the ability to pull back and see the bigger picture and talk and communicate with the angelic realm to help you, to guide you, to ease you, okay? Very spiritual journey for you and your twin flame this lifetime, Taurus. Very spiritual journey. So I'm going to pull one final card as um, advice or further information for you guys about your twin flame love. But I think this is a very beautiful love story, Taurus. Your final advice is somewhere in the middle of this deck, and it is adventure. Uh, this here is saying that you guys are going to have a lot of fun together, okay? You might do a lot of traveling together. Um, now, especially if your twin flame is in Aries, I'm not surprised for this card to come out because there's a lot of spontaneity with the Aryan energy and they are go, go, go. I'm always seeking adventure. Okay, so 
for you guys, whether your twin flame is in Aries or not, there is that energy in your relationship where we're going to explore, we're going to travel the world, there's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of adventure going on. Um, this could be like we're skydiving, we're bungee jumping. It doesn't just have to be like we're traveling across the lands of the world, okay? It's just whatever you and your twin flame are doing, um, it, it's an adventure, Okay, you guys could just be snuggled up at home and it's still a lot of fun. Okay, you guys just have great playful energy and you will overcome any challenge that you face. Never lose sight of that, Taurus. Don't lose sight of that because wow, what a beautiful twin flame love story you guys have. So that's what I have for you, Taurus very beautiful. I hope that you've enjoyed. Take care.